What's up guys, it's Celeviath and we're back with another video today. Today we are reacting to Eden Zero episode 5. Now episode 4 left off in a uh, pretty interesting um, little uh, situation here. So it turns out when they uh, went to that planet, I cannot remember what the name is, there's just too many things to remember. Um, it turns out that when they were looking for Professor um, Weinstein, they actually ended up 50 years in the past of that planet. So it didn't really make any sense. Um, they were kind of traversing through 50 years of in the past in that area. Um, we got into some of the antics with the professor and the whole cyber gang. And then we met the uh, android thing called the uh, EM Pino. And um, turns out that thing was also part of the uh, time period that Rebecca and Shiki come from. So, a um, little bit strange, a little bit weird. I don't know how far or what's going to happen in the story now. It, we're still in that part where I think they're kind of establishing the main characters so far. So, they're kind of just doing those little, you know, fillery type of stuff. And then, like, you get onto the actual story a little bit later. Um, so that's what it's kind of feeling like a little bit, just a bunch of, uh, separate stories until they get to one of the main stories. And from what I could tell, it seems like the show's going to involve time travel a lot, specifically because of the 2000 years into the future thing. And now the fact that they went back in time 50 years, like those things cannot be a coincidence. And if it turns out that Eden Zero is going to be like a weird space, magical time travel type of show. I'm all for it, honestly. That that sounds like one of the more most interesting plots that Hiro Masa Mia could actually perform. Ma, Masha, Masha Mia. There's an H there. I know there is. Masahima. It might be Masahima. <laughs> but I know his first name is Hiro. <laughs> okay. Without further ado, we're going to get started with uh, Eden Zero Episode 5 Reaction. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, turn on notifications so you see when next reactions get put up. And make sure to check out the Patreon for full uncut reactions of this show and many more. And now, without further ado, we are about to start Eden Zero Episode 5. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, this thing went back to Cyber. Bruh, they like abused and tortured that thing and like took off its leg and it's still gonna do something. <laughs> Take the whole town. Uh, doesn't this robot being here already mess up the timeline? <laughs> I mean, he's not. Can can Shiki really take them all down? I'm sorry, my responses are limited. You must ask the right question. Bruh. Decision. Why are they like always abusing this thing, man? <laughs> I, 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 I can't take this guy, man. Come on, Professor Wise. It's not Weinstein, it's actually Wise. I uh, messed it up earlier. Yeah, Professor Wise. <laughs> oh, wow. What exactly can that can uh, EMP no actually do? Is it because it has an EMP blast? Let's go, Mr. Shiki. Bro, gravity wave? Yo, what is this guy's powers, man? Dude, there has to be limits to his powers at the very least. Gravity fist frenzy. Dude, I can't, I can't. What is this guy? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> that guy's getting happy, he's getting a face full of wise. <laughs> no, Shiki! 
Oh my god, that would have been pretty gruesome if he actually got hit. But no, he's actually carrying it up like that with his uh, ether gear. Bro, what are they, what are they gonna do to her, man? Is that guy supposed to be German or something? V I Z right man to the great Zibet. <laughs> <laughs> Iron legged footsie brothers, man. <laughs> we were supposed to know who they were, though. I, I don't think we were supposed to know who they were. Older model. <laughs> Shut up, future cat. <laughs> cat that comes from the future, future cat. Oh no, what is Sibir doing? Everyone? What do you mean everyone? There's more than Wait, what? Never mind. Interesting, there's actually blood in the show. That's uh that's a change of pace. There is barely a any blood in Fairy Tale. Barely any blood. No. It's Michael or is it Pikel? Which one is it? Michael or Pikel? Michael <laughs> No. No. No, 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 no. That's not Michael though. That's uh, that's Michael. This guy really doesn't understand what robots are and mass production of robots. <laughs> that's not Michael, that's Johnny, man. <laughs> yeah, mass produced, like I said. <laughs> Is that really how they treat bots in this world? That they just toss them aside like they're nothing? They never even bother to fix them? Oh, he never actually repaired them, did he? Oh, no. Yeah, he's not a real mechanic. Exactly. No, they're not. They're not, Johnny. There are good people in the world, Johnny. No! He, he's flatlining. <laughs> no lie, that was like... The most emotional two minutes of this show that I've ever seen. Even more emotional than the first episode. Johnny will forever be missed, man. He's just like Michael. He's a long-lasting character that's been with us since the beginning. Service, yo. <laughs> you have some mighty fine legs there, don't ya? Did they not notice them before? Yeah. Oh my god, bro. Don't tell me these mans have a foot fetish. Oh god, in a uh, Japanese anime, that's not something that I want to see. <laughs> Bruh. Why are these guys so strong? Oh man, this guy's pissed though. <laughs> this guy, man. He just outkicked the kickers, man. He outkicked the guys whose whole maneuver was kicking, man. And, and he just destroyed them. Like they were nothing. Yo, these guys are mega creepers. Oh my god. Oh, 
Let's go. Let's go, Shiki, man. He's pissed, though. He's gonna take down Cibber, like, quick. He don't care. Let's go, man. Shonen protagonist power. Ether Gear stuff is ridiculous. Does anybody else have Ether Gear? I guarantee that there has to be, man. Elsie, the pirate, the pirate, uh, what's it called? Mercenary lady, whatever. The space pirate Elsie definitely has, uh, Ether Gear for sure. Okay. I don't, I don't know. How? How? Yo, they're not just your slaves, man. Machines are living things too, man. You give them life and then you kind of just toss them aside. That's not, that's not what you should do. I like it that the machines are the oppressed characters in the show. Because, like, robots are also... Thinking beings, you know. Gravity cannon, yo. How many moves does this guy have? Yo, it's too much. <laughs> Sorry, Mary the Platypus, but you are too late. How did the, how did the robot get him? How is the robot moving on its own like that? And what is that aura around it? Yo, is it gonna explode? That thing's finally gonna use its EMP here. Yeah, to save Shiki. Bro, everything electrical just gone, yo. Shiki gonna die. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not your slave. I'm not your toy to be controlled. Oh, I thought he was gonna- Oh, he just broke his arm. I thought he's like, yo, I'm gonna just beat on you with this uh, rusty metal instead. <laughs> Doesn't matter, man. If you're a human, an alien, a robot, you know? People can be friends, man. Some heartwarming stuff right there. Okay. Planet Norma, that's what it was called, Norma. Oh, Elsie's here. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, this character's so mysterious. I'm like so intrigued to see who she is. At uh, Eden Zero Episode 5. I don't know what it is about animes that have like those, um, whenever the episode ends and then they start the, uh, the uh, ending song in between like the little conclusion part of the 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 episode i don't know what it is about those types of uh songs that kind of just go in hand in hand with like the episode ending but you know they always get me like just grooving but anyway that was eating zero episode five good episode um we i think we concluded that whole emp no stuff even though there seems to be some some more things kind of just left unsaid uh, Pino was like, you know, I have to get back to them. Like, I have to, I have to listen to Sibber because I have to protect them. So I was thinking that maybe Sibber was like, took his, uh, his or her friends hostage, or its friends. I'll say it because it, let's be real, doesn't have a gender. <laughs> um, took its uh, friends hostage or something. 
But we got through some more of the episode too. We got to see more of Shiki's move set. Like I, I don't think we ever really seen any of his like move set here, or he has never really been in like any fights where he had to use anything. There was like gravity kick, gravity cannon, gravity wave. Like there was a lot of like gravity esque type of moves. So not sure how far his ether gear can go. But um, it will be really cool to see how much more or how farther he can go with it. Um, and it seems like Rebecca is not just going to be a one-off gag character anymore. It seems like she's going to have some, I guess, some legitimate, um, I guess, some legitimate character to her. Um, she seems kind of weak a little bit, but <laughs> maybe we'll get there where she's a little bit better. She, uh, right now, she has me just kind of dry chuckling at the moment. Um, but anyway, that was Eden Zero episode 5. I don't think there was anything noteworthy to really say anything more about that. Um, we got through some more with Professor Wise, which was just more obvious stuff. He's a good guy regardless. And he seemed... Now, the weird thing is, 50-year-old Professor Wise seems to be in the opening sequence, which makes me think that he's going to be a part of their Eden crew, which I don't understand, because how does a, f a professor from 50 years ago... <laughs> I'll just wait till I get there because I'm pretty sure we're going to get there very, very soon. It, it's getting to that point where um, a lot of the stories are going to start converging with each other. Elsie is going to freaking Norma. That was a planet, by the way. Completely forgot its name, but she's going to Norma. So I don't know what the hell is going to happen there. Almost swore. But uh, Sheik is going to meet her and it's going to be interesting. I guarantee it. Anyway, um, I'm going to end the video off with that. I hope you guys all have a great day. Don't forget to... Be positive and try your best to, you know, achieve your goals. That's my little tidbit of uh, information today. But I will see you guys around and have a great day.